game will begin with an 8 minute AMRAP that has been changed to a 10 minute AMRAP known as short and bitter. One team member working at a time, teams can split up reps and calories however they want to. The first part will be a 30 calorie row, followed by 30 hang power snatch, RX for men 75, RX for females 55, scale for men 55, scale for females 35. Followed by 20 box jump overs, RX for males 30 inch box, RX for females 24 inch box. Scaled can do step overs and the inches will be for males 24 inches, females 20 inches. The fourth part will be four, 20 thrusters, RX for males at 75 pounds, RX for females 55 pounds, scaled for males 55, scaled for females 35. The fifth and final part will be a 10 calorie bike. One team member will be holding the barbell at the top of a deadlift while the row, box jump overs, and bike are taking place. If the barbell is dropped, the other person will have to stop and wait until the barbell is back at the top of the deadlift. The standards are as follows. For the 30 calorie row, one person will be rowing while their teammate is holding a barbell at a deadlift. If the partner holding the barbell drops the barbell, the rower must stop until their partner picks the deadlift bar back up at the top. After 30 calories have been completed, they will then go to a hang power snatch for 30 reps. This can be split up in any way possible or desired. The standards for this movement, the bar must start on the ground and the athlete must finish at a standing position for the rep to count. If the athlete does not stand all the way up, it will count as a no rep. And if the bar does not touch the ground before the rep take pl takes place, it will also be counted as a no rep. After this, the athletes will then go to 20 box jump overs. During this portion, the partner athlete will once again hold a deadlift bar at the top of the hang, while one athlete does box jump overs. The standards are as follows. The athlete must start with both feet on the ground on one side of the box. They must j then jump on the box and over before the rep can count. The athlete does not have to extend the hips at the top of the box, only jump over to the other side before the rep is counted. If at any time the partner holding the barbell drops the barbell, the athlete jumping must stop until the partner picks up the bar once again. The overs have been completed. The athletes will then go to 20 thrusters. The standards are as follows. During the squat position of the thruster, the hip crease must break below the knee. The athlete must then, at the top, extend their elbows fully to the shoulder to overhead. If the athlete does not break below parallel, as, descri as described, it will not be counted and will be counted as a no rep. If the athlete does not go into full extension overhead, the same as follows. There will be a no rep count. After 20 thrusters, the fifth and final portion will be 10 calorie bite. During this portion, one athlete will bite 10 calories on the assault bite, while a partner athlete will hold a deadlift at the top of the hang. As with the other two movements, if the partner athlete holding the barbell drops the barbell, the athlete on the bike must stop until their partner continues holding the barbell at the top of the deadlift. 